Hi everyone, welcome back to our next video. Today, Brian and I are still thinking and talking about uh, self-defense. We're gonna talk about alternative weapons. Uh, some of these we've kind of touched on before, and so we'll just bring them up again. And I will continue testing some of them beyond these, but just ideas for you to use. And again, we're talking about a multi-layered defense, starting out at a distance as someone gets closer. These are mostly pretty close weapons, but uh, still the idea is just a multiple layers of you being able to take care of yourself. So we'll start kind of with the uh, striking uh, weapons. And Brian, why don't you take that away? Okay, sure. Uh, so when we talk about striking weapons, we could mean one of several different things. Uh, it could be a distance thing such as this, or it could be up close. So the first one, it, this is from my childhood. I mean, who doesn't love a little slingshot? These things are pretty handy. There's the surgical tubing, uh, and you could just grab up any rock off the ground. Uh, you can use like basically just any round ball. I used to use marbles. Marbles are glass. They, they weigh a lot, uh, and they will hurt. As the two or four legged predator is getting closer to you, we have other things you can consider. You could just simply use your hiking stick. I mean, it extends out. We talked about this in another video, but it's very pokey at the end. Uh, so you can just simply use this. You could just pick up a rock off the ground. Your water bottle, that weighs a lot. That's about two pounds of water if it's a one liter uh, water bottle. If you're sitting on a chair, you could grab the chair. You know, it's like these things are all what, what we had talked about before is keeping things at a distance, keeping things away from you. Now, if something does get too close to you, another thing that uh, we had purchased was a Smith & Wesson tactical pen. Uh, and this thing is uh, interesting. This is for the extremely close uh, uh, encounters, I suppose. Uh, but it's basically just a what looks like a pen. Uh, you actually unscrew it here, and this is the writing implement right there. But as you put it on, it has a very sharp, pokey end right there. It's not going to cut you. Uh, but the idea is that you will either like jab it towards someone, jab it like this. And again, this is just in close encounter, you are trying to get away. Uh, and so if you put this towards their ribs or their head or something, it's gonna make them think twice about that. It's better than nothing. Absolutely. And you can always have it with you. Yep. Uh, there, you can write with it. You can write with uh, it. Another item that we have here is the uh, Pepper Ball, the Pepper uh -huh. Blaster 2. Uh, so this is, uh, basically this right here and it's basically a two shot item so it has a bare gel in it uh, it can shoot for about 13 feet away and it's a pump action so it's not aerosolized uh, the idea is you push this little trigger part away or the little cap uh, and then you give it one uh, squeeze and it releases it in one of the cylinders here let it go pull it again and you have the second one so just remove the safety Flip that to the side, see what happens. Whoa, God, I was not expecting that. Uh, all right, let's do another one. Wow, that was pretty cool. It's not what I expected. It doesn't shoot a stream, it shoots a, a glob. Yeah. It? I forgot that. Uh, these things go for about 40 bucks, uh, $38 on Amazon. Uh, and so it's just be nice to carry around with you. Uh, your cane. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a kind of a weaponized cane. This is still legal everywhere in the U.S. You can you can take this anywhere at any time because it's a cane. It's a handicapped uh, tool. As most of us are older, a cane seems perfectly reasonable in your hands. And mm -hmm. even if you're not, uh, it's still reasonable. It cannot be questioned. Uh, the American with Disabilities Act says you can use a tool like this to keep you safe. This one's just a fancy. That's all. One thing to bear in mind always is that this is, in fact, a lethal weapon. You, you go after their head, a good blow, for, solid blow from this can be lethal. You will kill someone. More than likely, what you're probably going to do is go for a knee or an ankle or go for the leg and get any part of the leg, and, man, it's going to hurt, maybe break bone. And that's probably, you're, you're just wanting to escape. Mm -hmm. you're not, none of these are lethal. That's the point here. You're not trying to kill someone except this one in the right situation, and probably the pole. Could in the right situation yeah. be lethal. So uh, then, after my misadventure with the bear spray, I don't recommend bear spray anymore. I found this. It's Saber uh, gel, uh, gel spray, and I've got a video. We're not going to go into any length about it. But they also make this one is the exact same stuff. It's just in a small container that you can carry on your belt. And I really recommend this. 
I shoot them both off in another video, so we're not going to shoot them here. Uh, another thing at a distance is this is a an Orion. It's made by the Orion Company. It's a marine handheld flare. We'll shoot we'll shoot this thing off for you. It's designed to be uh, held in your hand. So really useful uh, tool. If you're out in the back country and you're lost and and uh, search and rescue is on the way, you fire this off and you can wave it at them. It puts out a lot of smoke and a and a really good flare. So, you, you know, you see a helicopter flying around, but they just don't see you. It's handheld. It's designed to be held in your hand. It's Coast Guard approved. You can get a four pack of these for about 40 bucks, $10 each. And then we come to the, uh, the stun guns. And I think a stun gun is probably one of the most practical tools for the vast majority of us. I mean, they're, they're cheap. The, the most expensive uh, stun gun here is $26. Oh, that is cheap. Yeah, wow. They're really cheap. Okay. And you can have one in your on your bedside. You can have one. And and, and these are more expensive. The, the cheapest one is uh, $20. This okay. is $20. But we'll so start small, here. too. Yeah. It is, this is a keychain, and that's why I bought this one. Most of them are here are flashlights. You can buy them with the flashlight and without the flashlight. This one looks really cheap. Here's the problem with all of these. They're cheap crap. <laughs> uh, you go look at the and you go look at the uh, uh, reviews on all of them, and they all say oh, they're cheap crap. And so they'll work, and then all of a sudden they won't anymore, and that's the problem. That's the flashlight. Oh yep, yep. <laughs> Did you hear that? That sound to me is very unsettling. That yeah. puts uh, the hair in my arms up, and yeah. it's that noise alone should at least give someone pause. <laughs> Uh, I really recommend these things as a multi-layered defense. Mm -hmm. And I, they're so cheap. This is 20 bucks, 19.99 for this little thing. It will easily go on your keychain. Uh, well, well, I'll compare it here. So there's my, you know, it's about the size, double the size of your regular lock mechanism on your keychain. I would consider carrying this. You know, I don't think I'm going to count on these. I'd hate to count on one. I'd have multiples before if I were going to bet my life. This one comes with a, they all come with a sheath. Cheap, cheap sheaths, uh, but sheaths nonetheless. I you know, I might yeah. keep this one on my keychain, check it every so often when it stops working, which it inevitably will, throw mm -hmm. it away, go to something else. Yeah. So that's a good one. This is the uh, Guard Dog Security Hornet keychain LED flashlight. It weighs two ounces. And, all right, now this is a, a, a flashlight and one of what I liked about it, it's made by Ruger. Uh, the Ruger Gun Company, and uh, and I thought maybe this would be a little better than most because it's uh, Ruger. Okay, now I'm going to do the... Oh, yeah. That's louder. No doubt it's louder. Yeah. And then uh, that's uh, the flashlight. Oh, I see. So that is the flashlight that blinks. I'm a little scared. Even though it's, I know it's off, I'm still scared to touch the metal ring around there. Yeah. So, and that's where it, that's where the shock is coming from is at the end of it. So you have it as a flashlight, then you can arm it and then you can poke it towards someone. Uh, but yeah, I'm still scared to touch that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, I did turn it off. This is made by Security Equipment uh, Corporation, which is Sabre. The, the company, this is Sabre. Oh. Uh, this is Sabre. And <laughs> this is also made by Sabre. So this is actually a Sabre product. They just used it. They bought the right to the Ruger name uh, to impress people, which it impressed me. And this is a Sabre uh, stun gun. That looks even more substantial. This one is of all of them. I would only buy it. I would only buy one of these if it had the name Sabre in it. This is the Sabre S1009, and it's uh, similar. It goes to. I'm going to fire it. Wow. Wow. I thought I saw smoke coming out of that for a moment. It might yeah. have caught some dust on fire or something. That is impressive. That is. Uh, I would only buy, and then it has a flashlight, yep. and there's the flashlight. Yeah, that makes a lot of noise. I, the, so far, by far, the uh, as far as I'm concerned, the best looking of them. Mm -hmm. And it comes also... This is a kit, and it comes with a its own spray with its own uh, belt loop. This is twenty one fifty eight, including the gel. Oh, that's so pretty cheap. That's then. actually very cheap. Yeah. So that's the one with the gel, uh, but it does say spray and not gel. Viper Tech. If you go to Amazon and look up these things, stun guns, Viper Tech is going to have a million of them.
And so they kind of, I don't, they didn't invent the market, but boy, they dominate it. And I've bought Vipertech products before. I know people, I have friends who have a Vipertech uh, stun gun sitting beside them. It definitely looks more hefty. It did. Well, this one's actually aluminum. This is a, yeah. a, a aircraft, they claim aircraft grade, grade aluminum. Okay, so. So, yep, that's a flashlight on for one click, two click. Oh, wow. Jeez. Okay, yep, works. <laughs> Again, arm hair. Uh, up. <laughs> that's a good one. That is. That's that's a good one. It was twenty one ninety nine. That was twenty two dollars. So all of them are in the same price They're range. They're all in the price range. Yeah. The most expensive one was twenty six, and it also comes with a, a little piece Cheap. of crap. <laughs> I mean, that's all you can say about these things. Is they're pieces of crap. Uh, they're disposable. Yeah. So the uh, the casings we're talking about the sheath. Yeah, but uh, this it does. It has a very 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 good feel to it. Yeah. Okay, so there they all are. Again, I'm going to recommend the uh, Saber products uh, because they are. They're the real deal, um, but the Vipertech is really well made. So we're gonna we're gonna fire them in order of price. Okay. So this one is the Hornet, the keychain. The next I'm gonna do the Vipertech, the Ruger, and the Saber. I would say that Saber is significantly louder. Like that is just has a deep rumble to it. That is. And just the arc on it, visually, it's terrifying. Let's go up close and do them all for now, up here. It's like an orchestra of shock. <laughs> A terrifying orchestra. All right, I am about to light the flare, took the cap off. So this would definitely be enough to scare someone. It does kind of make a loud noise. And it's really hard to look at. All right, gonna try to test these uh, at night. So you might be able to see the, the, the diodes a little better for the stun gun. So here's the first one. That was the keychain one. This is the Viper. This is the Ruger. And this is the Saber. As for flashlights, the keychain one gives a little bit of light, not a ton. Same thing for the Saber. Uh, no, just a little bit of a flashlight, not a ton. The Ruger one, it's a little bit better flashlight. A little more in the distance. And then this is the Viper. The Viper is definitely the strongest one. Yeah, the Viper is definitely by far the strongest one. So guys, we've gone through all of these items, giving you different choices. Uh, do you guys out there have any of these items or something similar? If so, let us know in the comments. Let us know which one you have or if you have something completely different. Also let us know. And finally, if you don't have one, would you be willing to carry one of these items or something similar uh, for your own personal safety? Uh, if so, please leave a comment be below and let us know. Very, very good. Remember, we're talking about a layered self-defense. 
Uh, I would take as many of them with you as you could at all times, just so that you've got someone at a distance as they're closing in and as they're right on top of you. And when you're that prepared, you should get home safe that day. That's what we care about. Okay, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, like us on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we'll talk to you later. Bye now.